The question that I never hear answered um, by these senators, I'm not asking you to defend uh, Senator Paul, and the question that he was asked was, uh, okay, we got, we got immigration reform. What do you do first? He said, well, you secure the border. So what do you mean by that? What's your metric? I mean, what do you, wh- yeah. what do you, what do you use to decide that the border is secure? He says, well, we've got to talk about that. <laughs> okay, well, let's, let's talk about that first. And yeah. then we'll talk about everything else. And this is, this is what frustrates me. And it was, oh, he's a great Republican. He's going to be the leader of the Republican Party. I don't know if he is or if he isn't, but he's dodging questions again. So I'm going to present this question to you, your chairman of Homeland Security. What is the metric that should be used for the American people to say, okay, our border is secure. Now let's talk about what we're going to do with those that are in this country illegally already. Yeah. What's the metric? Kind well, of? and that's exactly the bill that I intend to introduce, the border security bill, which we haven't had in probably six years, uh, will come out. And, and, and what we focus on is exactly what you're talking about, metrics and outcomes. If you can't measure, have metrics, you can't judge whether you're successful. The other thing is a definition of operational control the department has basically thrown that out the window and said, well, we can't really define it, so we're not even going to talk about that anymore. We're just going to throw randomly uh, some assets, you know, around the Tucson sector, maybe San Diego, and and then, you know, it's never been more secure, so therefore it's secure. And that, that's just not the right strategy. I mean, we have to have metrics. We, in our bill, and I can talk more about it when we mark it up and introduce it, but we will provide a, a, a system of metrics that were designed by Idaho National Labs and, and the GAO will review these metrics and force the department to come up with a comprehensive national strategy to gain operational control. And Matt, they haven't had a plan. That's why they come back and they say, I said, when can you get, when will the border be secure? They'll, they'll tell me 10 years. That's just, that's unacceptable. Our bill will require them in three years to get operational control of the border. You can't discuss immigration reform until you have that, that control piece. What's operational control? Knowing who's coming in the country and leaving the country with a high degree of probability. Uh, we don't have that right now, and I don't see how you can trigger immigration reform until you get to that point. And so that's what we're going to be focused on. Uh, and then, you know, once they come back with a plan, then we're going to say, okay, how are you going to implement that plan? And that's when we get into the strategic resources, whether we bring stuff from Afghanistan and Iraq back to the southwest border or, you know, the existing technologies that are uh, available today that we can put down there, and that's when we have that discussion. But it it really, you know, again, you can say you're all for immigration reform, but it doesn't work until you get the operational control of the border. How can you have a guest worker program, for instance, if you don't know with a high degree of certainty who's coming in the country and who's leaving? I don't know. know. It doesn't doesn't work. work. I, I would I would agree. Most Americans realize that. You're right. How do you have this guest worker program? See, to me, when I hear things, in, in many cases, from, you know, uh, politicians, from lawmakers, it sounds like pandering to me. Uh, I know there's a lot of fans of Rand Paul and Marco Rubio and others, and, and that's fine. And they may, they may turn out to be far smarter than I am. But I want you to tell me how you are going to secure the border first. Don't just say, well, we've got to talk about that. I know. That's what I want you to talk about. You're doing that, and I appreciate it. Let me, before i got to let you go. Well, and the mandate I have from my leadership is, look, man, you need to go forward with this, this border bill because that's, the, that, that's the, the carrot, right? I mean, they're not going to get any of this other stuff done unless our members are confident enough that my bill uh, is going to achieve that result. Otherwise, they're not going to go down that road. And so... The role we're playing is very critical in this overall debate. 